My departure is near. Tomorrow morning, I'm leaving New York, and I will be in my destination just about 11, 30, 12 o'clock night. It's a long ride, but it will be a blessing. I will be in, in small communities right there in Mexico. It is a blessing for me to be here. You're welcome. Welcome to Latin Town Baptist Church. I have five minutes to say about evangelism. What is the meaning of the word evangelism? People do not understand that at the moment that you accept Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord, you was called to salvation, but also you was called to serve Jesus. Amen? Yeah. Amen. We all have to serve the Lord. We all have to be active people in church. Because the biggest is my church, the biggest is the kingdom of heaven. Think about that way. Evangelism means preaching, announcing, or otherwise communicating the gospel or salvation. It is delivering the message that Jesus Christ is not only the Son of God, but also gave his life as a sacrifice for our sins. In doing so, he ensured eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. He ensured eternal life for anyone who believes. Evangelism it's not going for vacation or accept the pleasure of the world, but to preach the gospel, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we are told in the book of John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting. In other words, my dear friends, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life through faith in Jesus Christ. And again and again, as we continue preaching the good news, we will see the fruit of his spirit working in many souls. Jesus tell us in the book of John 14, 6, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto the Father but by me. The Lord is telling you and I, I am the way and the truth and life. No one comes to the Father except to me. Except in that good news and then telling others about about it so they know also at the same time what salvation and what is meaning of salvation and what the meaning to accept Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord now the, the thing is this what is the evangelism and why is so important to the church you see most of the people my dear friend don't take me wrong I like you guys, and I hope you like me. But most of the time, my dear friend, the, the, the person accepts Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord and sit down and listen to the pastor for the rest of their life. But this is not life in Christ. Life is in Christ is when you accept Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord, and then you start working for your church. How wonderful it is, my dear friends, when you sitting down in one chair and you say, this guy, I lead these people to Christ. I lead this guy to Christ. I lead that guy to Christ. So wonderful. But when you sit down for many years of your life and you have no fruit, I don't think that this is life in Christ. My dear Did I make myself understand? Mm -hmm. Thank you. But my dear friends, so evangelism, when I think evangelism, I don't necessarily think about 
a method or a way to do it. It is true, my dear friends. My dear friends, the truth is this, evangelism simple put is telling the good news that what word evangelist means to simply share with another person the good news. And it could mean any good news. But in the biblical sense, the word evangelism refers to the good news about Jesus Christ and his saving grace. Yes, my dear friends, his saving grace. So evangelism, when I think about evangelism, I don't necessarily think about a way or a method or a program or some area of the church ministry. I think simple of an individual follower of Jesus Christ telling their story in such a way that they are telling Jesus Christ's story to. It is true, my dear friends. Followers of Jesus Christ telling the story in such a way that they are the true telling the story to the good news of Jesus Christ. Evangelism is lead people to Christ, my dear friend. And this morning, I will ask you this morning, how many of you lead somebody to Christ in this morning? Oh, how many of you lead people to Christ in the last couple of weeks or in the couple of months? My dear friends, we should be doing this work because the biggest is my church the biggest will be the kingdom of heaven, my dear friends. Did I make myself clear, my friends? Thank you. So my dear friends, evangelism is lead people to Christ and into growing relationship with God. You will remember in the book of John chapter 1 verse 12 said, but as many as received him, to them gave the power to become the sons of God even to them that believe in his name. My dear friend, so every believer, I mean every believer is called to be an evangelist. Amen? Amen. I say that amen and some people don't. No, amen, brothers? Amen. amen. Now sounds better, you understand? The first time I say amen, <laughs> just like that, man. Amen. Thank you, brother. Right, thank you. That my dear friends, so every believer is to be an evangelist. In a sense, in a personal, one-on-one -on -one context with neighbors and friends and co-workers and families. How many of us we have families that they don't know Jesus Christ as a Savior and Lord? And sometimes we just sit down. We are afraid to talk to them. If I talk about Jesus, he will not invite me anymore for dinner. It is not true. My friends, I never quiet. <clears throat> but my friends, and they are doing evangelism. When they simply become available in the course of conversation as the Holy Spirit prompt and give opportunity to talk about the good news of Jesus. That Jesus Christ is the Son of God and who was sent by the Father to live a perfect life in our place, to die on the cross for our sin, sins. Because sinners like you and I, my dear friend, we need Jesus Christ to reach heaven one day, my friends. Thank you very much, my dear friend. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> the biggest thing is not growing our churches, it's growing the kingdom of